Y'all, I'm I'm very disgusted, bro. Like, y'all see by the title, this is more of like a serious type of video. Uh, y'all know I'm always I'm just a lit person. Y'all know I love having fun. I love getting lit in my videos. I know how I look right now. I'm I'm about to go to sleep. Right? I gotta work tomorrow. But look, I just had to come on here and I just really need y'all to just pray for my city, bro. My pray for my city, Chicago. Now, as y'all can see on the screen, I want to break down. Three videos, all right? Three videos. I ain't gonna be too long. I promise y'all. Just stick with your boy. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Uh, but, man, my city is it's getting bad, bro. It, it's to the point where it's like, bro, I don't even want to go to the city. Y'all know I, I stay in the suburbs now. I moved out the city. Well, my mom moved me out the city uh, so I can get a better life. But it, it ain't looking too good. So, look, as y'all can see, man, this a woman. All right, woman in critical condition following the Dan Ryan shooting. Dan Ryan's expressway. They shooting on expressways, bro. Expr this is why I don't drive on the expressway. It's the easiest way to get killed. You know why? Because first of all, you got little, you got people that think they in GTA. You got people who think they playing the game, bro, and think they can just swerve through cars. So, so, so. No, no. They like people be driving like we got extra lives. We don't. We got ones. We live once and we die once. But y'all people act like we got extra lives, bro. Now this right here, it say shooting. Oh, oh it don't, well, it does. Say shooting. They're shooting on the expressway, bro. And the reason I say it's the easiest way to get killed, because easily, you can drive, raise down your window, pop, pop, and drive right off. No, no cameras, no nothing, bro. That, Dog, we just finna let me go ahead and get into it, bro. Come on. I need y'all boys to hit the like button, man. Hit the like button. One like equals one prayer for my for my city, bro. Come on, just hit the like button for your boy. But look, come on, let's check this out, bro. And Ryan Expressway is shut down after a shooting there, but our crews came across another shooting in that same area just moments ago. I wanna get right to Kelly. Two shooters in one day on the expressway? This is ridiculous, bro. Davis, she is live along the Dan Ryan. Kelly. Good evening. Police are working a couple different scenes in this area, some related, some not. So I'm going to walk you through exactly what happened out here behind me. This is the aftermath of a shooting that happened about an hour ago. You can see police are still out here working this accident. The driver of that SUV with airbags deployed was the victim of a car crash out here. I'm told three different cars crashed at this intersection on 47th Street just off the Dan Ryan. Now this all started on the corner of 47th and Indiana. Police say three men were Crazy, driving bro. a stolen blue jeep cherokee when one of them was shot i'm told i know exactly what it's set to that's the bad that's the bad thing bro told the three jumped into another car and drove down 47th towards the dan ryan that's when they crashed into two other cars at this intersection police were quick to arrive on the scene as the three men tried to run away officers say one of them bro you know what's crazy it's not just the shootings dog it's just that because this is other people's family bro this is other people's family imagine Imagine somebody killing your mama, killing your daughter, killing somebody that you, somebody that you honestly love. Really? I'm, I'm not even mad at the shootings. I'm just mad that y'all people is not getting close to Jesus, bro. Because it's not even that. It's just the simple fact that y'all don't see what's really going on. Y'all really don't see how the world is really coming to an end, bro. For real. And the shooters is making it even worse because it's like, damn, bro, y'all killing people every single day, bro. Every single day. This is the most kills we had in Chicago in a minute, bro. We will get to the rest of the videos, dog. Real talk. I just want to show y'all this one. All right, this was just a, this was nothing. This ain't nothing compared to the other ones I'm about to show y'all. So we finna go ahead and go into the other ones. Because that right there, that ain't nothing compared to the other ones. Now look at this. Two shootings leave two dead and 15 injured. How? Boy, y'all thought y'all was on Call of Duty? How the What in the Call of Duty black and welfare is this, bro? This is, man, this is ridiculous, bro. Two dead and 15 injured, bro. That sound like some stats right there. That sound like some real stats. And I'm not, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just saying, bro. That's, look, they, I don't know if that was a firework or an actual gunshot that just happened outside my house. I, I don't know. But it's just, I don't know if y'all heard it or not. But look, it's just crazy. To, two shootings. Leave two dead and 15 injured, bro. It could have been worse. Thank God it wasn't worse, but come on, bro. Hey, good morning, Dan. Now, more than 70 people were fell victim to gun violence over the weekend. 70 over the week? We it's only a three-day weekend. You tell me you people killed 70? 
or sh shot 70 or 70 shootings happen. So 70 shootings happen. Bro, I'm so disgusted with my city right now, bro. This is not, bro, this is, this is why we can't never have nice things. We can never have nice things in Chicago. We can't have famous people come to Chicago. That's why all the famous people that make it in Chicago leave Chicago because of this. And now one of those shooting victims is actually here at the hospital recovering. And that one shooting that took place earlier yesterday, I should say yesterday evening around 11 p.m. in Marquette neighborhood left 11 people shot. Take a look at the scene from that situation. Yeah, police are telling us people were gathered near the corner of 63rd and Artesian before 11 p.m. when three males came from an alley and fired shots into the crowd. A female victim was taken here to the University of Chicago Hospital. What was your point? What was your bro? This y'all need to stay off the game. What was y'all point? Y'all came out the alley and shot at a group of people. What was the point, bro? What was the point, bro? Ain't no way, boy. Ain't no way, boy. This can't be real with the gunshot wound to the chest she did not survive a 34 year old man was shot in the torso and leg and was taken to the same hospital and is listed in serious condition then another shooting took place earlier in the south shore neighborhood police say that shooting happened at 8 45 last night near the corner of 71st and klein this time police told us five men and a woman were outside when a black suv drove by with a person inside firing at the group and hitting all six people a female victim was shot six times Time. She was taken here to the University of Chicago, but did not survive. A 15 year old boy was shot in the foot and knee and was taken to Comer Children's Hospital and is listed in stable condition. Now, these incidents are just two of the shootings that took place over the weekend from 6 p.m. Friday until midnight. 73 people were shot and five were killed. 6 p.m., bro. This took from 6 p.m. to midnight. Bro, my city is, bro, my city is just. It's getting out of hand, bro. It's really... It's getting out of hand, bro. I don't know. I don't know what... Bro, I just need y'all to pray for my city, bro. I'm going to... I'm going to the city on the 4th of July. I need y'all to keep me in y'all prayers, bro. If this the last... No, I'm not going to say that, man. God got me for sure. But it just... The way the city looking, bro. The 4th is going to be hot. It's going to be hot water on the 4th of July, bro. Especially in Chicago. If they doing this before the 4th, imagine how the 4th is going to be, bro. Now, this right here is really sad. A baby among 20 shot in Chicago as holiday weekend is getting underway. Now, if y'all don't know, my baby sister is in the other room right now. Y'all probably see her on my live stream one time, but she's in the other room right now. She's five years old. I will be heartbroken if this happened to my my baby sister, bro. This right here is just the saddest thing ever, bro. Both of those children were shot in the head. One of them's a nine-year-old girl. The other is a one-month-old girl. WGN News. One-month-year-old girl. She was only in the she was only in the world for a month, for a month. And you hypocrite. You, that's not even the right word to use. I don't even know what's the right word to use when it comes to situations like this. It's just, you idiots. Y'all shoot everything but y'all target. Y'all need to stop trying to kill people and go to the gun range and learn how to shoot. And no, don't, it's not even that. I'm not trying to promote violence. I'm not trying to say, oh, go out there and just keep killing people. No. But it's sad that y'all go out here trying to shoot y'all op, aka the enemy. If y'all don't know what op means, op, you know, I don't know if that's how y'all, I don't know what y'all say for enemy in y'all city, but in my city of Chicago, we say ops. All right, so if y'all go around trying to kill y'all op, but y'all shooting a one man, yo, baby, bro, a one man, yo, baby, in the head, though, in the head, bro, that baby can't even talk yet. She, Bro, it, it's getting ridiculous, bro. It's getting to the point where I don't even want to live in the suburbs of Illinois. Yeah, it's a good part. You know, we ain't got no killing, no violence, no, you know what I'm saying? Nothing like that. But it's just, I'm too close to the violence. I'm only 30 minutes away from the violence. But violence happens everywhere. But come on, dog. Y'all shot. 
a one month year old baby in the head, bro. Y'all shot everything but y'all target. Y'all see that girl over there? That little picture right there on the wall? Let me let me show y'all. I just want to show y'all real quick. Let me show y'all. So this right here. Let me see. Y'all see that right there? Yeah. This right here. Beautiful. Beautiful woman. Beautiful girl, right? And let me tell y'all something. That girl was my homegirl. That was that was my that was my dog. That was my homegirl. Real talk. That was my homegirl. We didn't talk like that, but that was my dog. Like we went to school with each other. I I'm not I don't want to clout and say, oh, I dated her. Well, I did date her, but we was young, bro. I don't count that as a date. We was just in a situation ship. Y'all know that y'all know how it is, boy. You fourth grade, you think you got a little baddie, you know what I'm saying? I ain't touch nothing, I ain't do nothing. That was that was just a kitty relationship. She got shot. At the wrong, she was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. She got shot. Somebody else, they were trying to shoot somebody else, and she got shot. How did you mistake that person for her? It's crazy. News was here last night as an ambulance arrived with that infant. It appears she was hit while she was in a vehicle in Inglewood near the 6500 block of South. Worst part of Chicago is Inglewood. Inglewood is just terrible, bro. I don't go. I don't go to Inglewood. I went to Inglewood one time, and that was for her funeral. I don't go to Inglewood though. Halstead, police say she was one of seven people shot there when three gunmen got out of a jeep and started shooting in multiple directions. Yesterday afternoon, the nine-year-old girl was shot in the head in Chatham in a double shooting. Police say a 61-year-old man was also shot in the foot there. Superintendent David Brown says they were caught in gang crossfire. No one is in custody in either of those shootings. Going into this holiday weekend, Chicago police are canceling days off and working 12-hour shifts. So I don't have a crystal ball, and I've learned not to predict uh, what might happen in the future. Uh, what I can say will happen is that the Chicago Police Department will give its all, that they will be dedicated, and they... I, I, I'm about to go ahead and get off the video, bro. I just really want to come on here and really just say, man, y'all pray for my city, bro. Y'all pray for my city, man. Real talk, bro. Y'all go ahead and put put us in y'all prayers, bro. If you don't pray, bro, make this your make this be your first prayer, bro. Pray for the city of Chicago because it's getting out of hand, bro. It's getting out of hand. I hope you guys enjoyed y'all Saturday, though. Real talk, though. Uh, like I said, bro, just pray for my city, bro. Just leave a like, bro. One light equals one prayer for the city, bro. City of Chicago, man. We need it all, bro. We losing we losing the kids, bro. We losing kids that didn't even make it to eighteen yet, bro. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on all social media platforms down below. It's been your boy, Depan. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace. We out.